Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. In this video, I am creating a resin beach tray and coaster set. And I'm just so in love with this project. It's actually relatively easy. I'm using Mixed Media Girl Artist Resin. And the colors that I'm using are the Illumilite Ocean Blue Resin Dye, the Illumilite White Resin Dye, and the Polycolor Sky Blue Mica. So that darker blue that I use there is a combination of the ocean blue resin dye with the sky blue mica and then the lighter blue is just the mica by itself and i love to kind of mix and match the micas and dyes because it gives a lot of depth to the project i started off with some clear resin and then went in with uh, the dark blue and the light blue creating kind of stripes of these now if i'm being honest i really regret going in such a straight line um the next time I do this, I'll give it a bit more character. It still came out beautifully, but um, I wish I'd gone a little more diagonally or something like that, but sometimes it just happens. <laughs> all right, then once I had all my colors down, I took some of the Illumilite white resin dye and I put that in between the blue and the clear on both the tray and the coasters. Now for this project, I use a little bit more of the white than I would use on a flat surface. And that's because a lot of it sinks down into the molds. So I put a little bit extra white, a little more than usual. And one other important note here is that I did not fill in that tray mold completely because I wanted to do a second wave layer, which I would need to have space for. So it's only about halfway full. The coasters are filled in just a little bit more. After I got my colors down, I took my heat gun, I heated up the entire piece, and then I gently pushed that white up into the blue, which creates the gorgeous foamy wave effect. And there's already quite a bit of foaminess here and some cell action by itself, but there's something that I like to do to create a little bit more of that, which is take some 91% isopropyl alcohol and spritz it up into the air just one time or maybe twice if it's a larger project. And that breaks up the, the micas and the dyes and creates some gorgeous effect. So it's a totally optional step and the project will look beautiful either way, but it's just something that I typically like to do with my uh, resin beach pieces. After I was done with the tray, I did the exact same thing on the coasters. So I pushed the white up into the blues and then I took some of that isopropyl alcohol, spritzed it up into the air and created those gorgeous effects. Once I was done with all of my waves and my water, I took some shell pieces and I put those into the clear parts on both the tray and the coasters. And these you can get from Michaels, you can get them on Amazon. They're just shell pieces and they're kind of a cream color. They're really pretty, I think. And I put those in a singular layer. I wasn't trying to fill in all of that clear, just get some of them in there and also take care to make sure that none of them are sticking out of the top of your project, otherwise, you know, when you set a cup down on your coasters or whatever, it'll just fall over. And I like to have a perfectly flat top. So I took my time with this and make sure, made sure that I pushed down all the pieces and only used pieces that were relatively flat and just a singular layer of the pieces. I hardly used any in the coasters, actually. I probably could have put a little bit more, but that's okay. Now, once I was done with this step, I let this cure for about 24 hours. It doesn't have to cure for a full 24 hours, but just to be safe, 24 hours. And then I came back in for the second layer. I wasn't doing a second layer on my coasters, so I just poured clear in those, which you'll see in a second. But on the tray, I wanted to actually do a second layer of waves. So I put some clear down and then I put a thin strip of white. For this, I was just going for a really soft second layer of waves that would just more than anything add depth to the piece. Um, so just used very little bit of that white and I only put clear above the white, not below it in hopes to kind of keep that white exactly where I wanted. It did absolutely still move and you can see that when the piece dries, but uh, that kind of helped to keep it at the top there and control my line a little bit more. 
And then I took my heat gun, I heated up the entire thing, and then I pushed that white up into the blue. And as you can see, this is just a really light line. It's not as strong as that first one. And again, just simply to add depth to the piece, this is also optional. I took the isopropyl alcohol and spritzed it up into the air. You can't see it as obviously on this one through the camera, but it created that same kind of foamy effect. And on this second layer, I put my handles in. So because the resin is uh, only on half the tray, only half of the handle was in the resin, but that's okay. It's going to lock it into place. And sometimes people worry that this isn't strong enough, but it is very, very strong. Those handles are not going to come out unless you apply an absurd amount of force to this. And then I let that cure. Now for the final layer on the tray, the coasters are already done. So I just put a clear coat on top of all of this to cover up all the shell pieces and fill in the tray completely. And in this top coat, I did put just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit of uh, the gold dust polycolor powder. And I do mean a really tiny bit just to give it a little bit of sparkle. And then I used my stick to push the resin all the way to the edges. There's honestly nothing worse than um, not fully filling in your top layer and realizing it after the project is dry. So you got to be careful going around those handles, but it's, it's pretty easy. And you just got to make sure that you get all the way to the edge, especially on a mold like this with irregular edges. Once I was done putting the resin in, I used my 91% isopropyl alcohol to pop the air bubbles and then let that cure. And that's the last step of this project. Here's all the pieces dry and they should be really easy to demold. Um, these molds are just from Amazon, by the way. You can use really molds from anywhere. And the, the trick is with the molds not to use a torch. You can use a heat gun. And you can use isopropyl alcohol, but don't use a torch or you'll ruin your molds. And here is the close-up. I love, love, love these. They're just awesome. You can use them on either side. Totally up to you. There's no right or wrong on that. I, I like the top better, but if you like the other side, feel free to flip them over and use them like that. You can also put a cork backing or something like that on there. Totally up to you. And here is the tray. Hopefully you can see the depth of that second wave layer through the camera. It's just gorgeous. I love, love, love it. And another thing with the tray is you can use this upside down as well as a raised tray. Like if you want to display cupcakes or something like that, also up to you. Um, but there you go. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.